Hello. To get started with pr writing Java programs, you're going to need two things. You're going to need um, the Java software that actually creates your programs, and you're going to need some sort of editor to work in. So in this video, we're going to take a look at installing the software that actually will take the text files that you're going to write in the Java programming language and turn them into actual Java programs. And what you need is the Java Standard Edition, that's SE, uh, Software Development Kit, SDK. So I'm going to search for Java SE SDK Download. In this course, we're using uh, version 11 of the development kit, at least to start with. So if I click on this link here that says Java SE Development Kit 11, then we go to the Oracle Downloads page. On this page, um, you have to be sure to check Accept License Agreement, and then you need to download the correct installer for your platform. So I'm actually using Mac, so I, I would download this OSX uh, version. Um, I'd use the 64-bit version. So if you're using Windows, download the Windows.exe installer and you've got options for Linux as well. So you need to download that and install it. You probably won't encounter any problems as long as you have admin rights on your computer. If you do encounter any strange error message, messages or anything like that, don't be afraid to type the error message out uh, into Google or into some search engine. Uh, just Google the error message basically and find out what comes up um, because other people will have had the same problems. But basically you shouldn't, you shouldn't really encounter any problems most of the time. Uh, so you just need to install um, the latest version of Java. If there's a later version out by the time you're watching this, so um, version 12 is actually already out. And the reason I'm not planning to start off using that is because there are relatively minor changes in version 12 of Java compared to version 11. Uh, and um, it's not always the case that all the software you use will be compatible with the absolute latest version. So it's often not a bad idea to hang back a little bit from upgrading your version of Java because otherwise you may run into incompatibility issues. So I'm following the policy here in this course of using a fairly recent version at the actual time that I'm making this video. So if you're watching this and version 14 is out or whatever, you can use version 14. But I'm going to stick with Java 11 at the moment, even though version 12 is already out. Okay, so try to install that, get that installed, and I'll see you in the next video.